guys it's Kendra so today I filmed a holiday makeup tutorial for you guys I really wanted to do a nice classic holiday glam the plan was for Kelsey to do like a more extra holiday glam with like more color and then for me to do the simple version of a nice holiday glam because I love a classic makeup look and I just decided to do this nice matte simple eye with only two eyeshadow colors and then a nice red lip and I think it's perfect for any holiday occasion whether you're just chilling at a family member's house or you're going to a holiday party wherever you plan on going for the holidays I feel like this is very fitting and festive so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know if you're going to be trying out this look for the holidays or even if you're just going to throw on a red lip to feel more festive because that's what I always do to feel more festive on Christmas I always slap on a red lip no matter what kind of eye look I'm doing but I feel like this eye look complements the lips very well if you guys want to see how I get this nice classic holiday glam then just keep on watching Okay you guys, so I'm going to start with foundation and this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I actually only prefer this for fall and winter because I personally feel like it makes me oilier in the spring and summer. And y'all know if you're oily, anything that is not for oily skin will make it more oily. So I tend to stick to the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the spring and summer. Sometimes I still do it in the fall and winter. I really do enjoy this foundation for this time of year and it's not like too dewy. Like I can't do any foundation with the word dewy in it or like glow anything because when you're oily you have a natural dew and glow. So we don't need that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, but I'm gonna do them off camera. I'm gonna be using my Benefit, what is this? The Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And this is in the color, I think number six. Yes, this is number six. And this is my favorite concealer to carve out my brows. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in the number six as well. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so the brows are done and I'm gonna move on to the eyes right now and then go back to the face. I tend to do this with my makeup depending on what kind of eye look I'm going to do. So today I really want to keep it really soft and simple. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia Prism Palette. I really enjoy this palette because it has a variety. So I'm going to be using two shades. And of course I'm going to be using the neutral shades. I'm going to be going in with Saturn and Unity. So this is Saturn here. This really nice soft like burnt orange color. And then Unity is this very yellowy nudie color. So we're going to go in with that. But before I do that I'm going to define my lid a little bit. I'm going to be using the Kevin Aquan The Sensual Skin Enhancer and this is a skin like perfecter for lighter skin tones. Obviously not mine. I like to use this sometimes as a base for eyeshadow depending on what kind of look I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit because a little bit of this goes a very long way. So I'm just going to go in on my lid like this kind of like in short strokes. And then I'm going to go in with the Unity color over top of that to kind of set it in a way, but that's actually the color that I want to show. Okay, so I didn't do this one as perfect as I did the other one, but we're just going to go with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and go in with the Saturn color in my crease, but I'm going to elongate it on the outer and inner corners a little bit more. So I'm just going in circular motions and then going inward. So I'm only going to be using two shades in this video just because I don't want to do too many, too much on the eyeshadow. Okay, so that's it for the eyes right now. And I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the Fenty 
Pro Filter Concealer, and this is in the shade 430. So I'm just gonna go under the eye. But I'm not gonna go all the way down. I've learned that I don't need concealer all the way down there. So I'm just gonna go in this area, so. So while that concealer kind of sits, I feel like the longer I let it sit, depending on what kind of concealer, cause if it's like a waterproof, then it dries faster. Um, but this one, I find that I can let it sit for a little bit longer. I'm gonna go in with some wing liner and do a little bit of a wing. And this is from The Balm and this is called the Schwing Liquid Liner. And Kelsey is obsessed with this. She put me on and I've been obsessed. It's a felt tip, so it's not as hard to use as a brush tip. So it has like a more sponge material. So it's a lot easier to use. Okay, so I find that when I do tutorials and I'm doing liquid liner, that it's a lot more difficult because my elbows are not on like a solid surface. So I'm usually resting my elbows like on my vanity or something. But since I don't have that, you know, support, I have to be extra, extra slow. And my wing isn't as twin-like as I would like it to be. They look like sisters. So I did fix it with some concealer, so that was bothering me way too much. So we fixed it. If you guys have a uneven liner, like too uneven to, to the point where you don't wanna wear it in public, then you can fix it with concealer and a brush that's very flat on the side and pretty dense, and it will fix it like new. So, so now that I feel like my concealer has set under my eyes for a little bit, I feel like when I uh, go right in and blend it out, it disappears. So when I let it sit a little bit longer, then that is when it looks more full coverage. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Now I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder. This is the medium deep one but I did mix a little bit of the original with it. So the color is gonna look slightly different. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face too, especially this area. This area gets oily really quickly. So I have to go in with extra powder here. So next I'm gonna go in with some mascara and lashes. The mascara that I'm using is the Marc Jacobs, what is this? The Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. They actually sent this to me and I've been using it ever since. And the lashes that I'm gonna be wearing are from Lily Lashes, but these are the Light Mink, so L-I-T-E, so it's not as intense as her other lashes. So I really like these for like a softer look if you don't wanna do anything too intense. And I really like it for the holidays cause you know when you're around your family you don't wanna to look too, too extra, especially if you're not gonna be like in a formal setting. I feel like these work really well for that. And they're more like my casual lash. So I really love these light ones. And even on the packaging it says an everyday natural lash. So I've been loving these. And these are in the style Goddess. So these are the Goddess Light Mink Lashes. So now that lashes are on, I'm gonna sweep this powder off my face. Depending on where I'm going and how long I need to be wearing my makeup for, I let it bake for longer, but I don't feel like I need to bake that long today. So I'm just gonna sweep that off. Sometimes I will pack it in, like pat it, 
but if I don't need to wear makeup for that long, I'll just sleep it away. And also if you don't want it too bright underneath, you can sleep it away. If you want it brighter underneath the eye, you can actually pat it in. That trick always works for me. But if you want it more subtle, then just wipe it off gently because you don't want to like, you know, sleep away the rest of what you did underneath. go back underneath the eye with some eyeshadow I'm just going to go in with that Saturn shade underneath my lash line to even everything out okay so as you guys can see my style of doing my makeup I go back and forth a lot depending on what needs to be done I feel like makeup is so personal that everybody applies theirs differently depending on what skin type they have, what kind of look they're doing. So now I'm gonna go back in with some regular powder that I have hit pan on. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their dual matte powder in the shade 218, so 218. And I've been using this for an eternity. If you guys have been watching our makeup tutorials for years, then you would know that Kelsey and I have been using this powder forever. So this powder, I'm actually going to pat it in lightly. Um, this is like more of my skin tone powder and it's a uh, full coverage powder. So I really like this to like finish the face to make it look more flawless. And it's amazing for oily skin. So you guys have not tried out this powder, highly recommend. So now that powder is applied, I'm going to go in with some mascara on my lower lash line. And to finish off the eye, I kind of want to put something in the inner tear duct because it is, you know, Christmas and the holiday season. So I think I'm going to go in with this lucid shade over here at the very end. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to finish the face with some bronzer. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mahogany Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to use this Hourglass Dual Sided Brush. I really love this brush. I'm going to use, I think, the smaller side. Yeah, that's what's best. Bronze my face a little bit. I really like this bronzer because it's really subtle. And it's not too much because I don't want you know, a super extra bronze look. Just adding some dimension to the face. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. I haven't been wearing highlighter that often. Like I recently wore it in our last video. So I'm just using this ColourPop Super Shop Cheek in the color Avalon. This is really old, so I don't even know if you can still get this, but I haven't even hit pan on it and I use this a lot. It's a really nice copper shade and it's very pigmented as you can see like i just got too much there so we're just gonna quickly blend that out okay so last but not least we're gonna do lips which are my favorite part because you guys know i love a red lip and it's just so fitting for the holidays so why not so first i'm gonna go in with the kkw lip liner in nude 3. this is one of my favorite brown lip liners go in with Mary Jo K by Kylie Cosmetics. And now I'm going to go in with this Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet in the shade 403. I think that's the color. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty Heartbreaker Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick. Lipstick. 